Hello you guys, my name is Vianimated, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a tour of the gaming setup since I actually have not just one, but I have two gaming setups. So, I have the one inside of the living room, which is basically a gaming setup where I feel like just kind of chilling, just kind of hanging out with some friends, you know, somewhere that's not too serious where, you know, there's a lot of open space, that way me and my friends can kind of just kick it and hang out. That's primarily the setup for that out there in the living room. Now, the gaming setup in the room, this one is... It's nothing short of my baby, let's just put it like that, okay? This is the setup that I primarily do all of my streaming at, my hardcore gaming, when I'm playing COD, yes, of course, when I'm playing Warzone, this is where I play it at. When you guys catch me on stream, this is usually the setup that you guys see me in. So for those of you guys who are unaware of who I am, I actually do live streams here every single day. I try to get on, I try to get on every day. I don't always make it sometimes. Yeah, I do live a busy lifestyle, but I do try to get on Twitch as well. Both of them go by the name of V Animated. If you guys are new around here, do not forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. And if you guys are regularly here, do not forget to like the video. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and let's let's see what's going on here in, in the world of V Animated. Let's see what let's see what this man cave is all about since I got kind of like two of them pretty much. Let's, let's go ahead and see what's going on. So before we continue on with today's video, I did just want to let you guys know really quick that I have switched my audio over to the HyperX Quadcast instead of using the camera that I was using in the beginning to record my voice when I did the intro. I'm not quite sure how the camera quality, you know, how the audio sounds through the camera. So I just want to make sure that you guys are going to get the best audio possible when it comes to my voice. So I'm going to start by showing you guys what we got going on here in the living room. I've changed this setup multiple times recently and decided that its best look is with a triple monitor setup. So starting from the right, I have a 70 inch mounted LG TV with a Roku stick in the back because I love Roku. I have two PS4s so I have one hooked up inside of the bedroom and the other one is hooked up right here in front of us in the living room for me and my guys to play on. To the left we have that triple monitor setup. The monitor on the right is a HP monitor that I got a long time ago. I'm not too sure what the name of this monitor is, but if you guys are interested in picking it up, I did buy it at Best Buy. Or if you guys are not trying to go to your local Best Buy, you guys can always look on their website by typing in HP monitor green LED. This monitor is on the right and the left side of this setup. And in the middle, I have a 32 inch curved VOTech monitor, which unfortunately is sold out everywhere that I have looked at least. I bought and had to replace this bad boy at least four times. I wanted to buy more just in case if I broke them again, but I couldn't find the monitor anywhere in stock. This was around the time that I first started my YouTube channel and I was practically in love and obsessed with this monitor. Behind the monitor on the left side, there is my Omen pre-built PC. It's not really visible, but it is an Omen. I'm not really too good with the specs and all that has on this PC, although I do have a 64GB RAM inside and a 2080 graphics card. And it's really not too much else worth mentioning. It is a, probably the second PC that I bought amongst the equipment that I started with, so it's not going to be, you know, built to what's best, but it is streamable. It is absolutely streamable. Next, I have a 17-inch Omen laptop. The processor is i9 with a 2080 graphics card. Now, I'm not going to lie. I bought this PC, well, I bought this laptop, and I just haven't really used it that much. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure exactly what the purpose is of this laptop, but if I end up not wanting to use it, then I will probably give it to one of you guys. Next up is a standard Omen keyboard. It's pretty easy to find, actually, on Amazon, as well as the Omen mounts. It's, it's pretty basic compared to the Omen sequencer, which you guys will see later on inside of the video. Then, I have a Firmax gaming chair right here, which I do not recommend to anyone. I've been looking for the perfect gaming chair, and let me tell you guys, while this one is a great and much needed improvement from my last chair, it is definitely not the most comfortable, and it may be, it may not be really noticeable from the camera actually, but the armrests are spread out, even after I fix it, the armrests kind of spread still. I feel like the chair is almost leaning forward when I sit, and I'm a big dude, like I'm 225 pounds, I need plenty of room to sit. And I feel like a certain movement is going to make me go flying out of this chair and cause an earthquake. So I'll definitely be replacing this chair soon. Going on to the back here, we have two couches and a black timber glass table in the middle. An ideal gaming spot for me and my buddies to just hammer away at some video games for a few hours. Or maybe on a football night. Either way, the setup is fit for both, but it is also incomplete. So let's hope to see better improvements in the future. And by the future, I do not mean 20 to 30 plus more monitors. Since we are on the topic, it's been rumored that I have 15 monitors. So, try to keep track of how many screens are inside of the house altogether. I do have a 55 inch Roku TV inside of my bedroom, but I will not be showcasing that room today. 
Drop a comment later on and tell me how many screens you guys see inside of this house or how many screens you guys envision me having in the future. Now, let's go on to the streaming setup. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do not forget to smash that like button. And if you guys are new around here, please do not forget to subscribe. I try to do daily live streams here on YouTube and it would greatly help out my channel. Now, for this setup, this is my baby. This is where I turn into the animated. I mean, literally, this is where I shine bright. This is my current setup that I use for streaming as well as daily gaming. As you'll see here, I actually have a quad monitor setup. And I know it may look like a handful, I know it looks like a lot, but it's actually way more convenient and useful than some might think. So usually during the games that I play, such as Call of Duty, the gameplay will usually get super intense to the point where seeing and paying attention to the chat can get a little difficult sometimes. That's where these monitors come into play. On the left and right side, I usually keep a small window closest to the middle monitor. That will contain my live chat usually, that way I do not miss anything from my audience as I play the game. My middle monitor is connected to the PlayStation 5, which I keep behind the monitor on the left side of the desk which is convenient from time to time as I either switch between the HDMI for the PlayStation 5 or DisplayPort for the PC. Either way, Streamlabs allows me to create a separate window from my gaming screen, that way I can simplify the task instead of switching between the two. The top monitor really comes in handy when I want to monitor the quality of my streams as I play the game. However, it's not always necessary to do this the entire stream. Usually, after I've established that it's okay, I will usually carry on as if the monitor is not there or use it as a display unless I'm making a video. These monitors also come in great handy if you are gaming and not streaming, and you want to like do something like watch anime on one monitor and play the game on another, listen to some music maybe. You guys always have another space available even if you guys want to search the internet. Convenience above all else is what I strive for with all of my setups. I'm sure you guys will notice all of the soundproof panels that are around the room and I'd say the only inconvenient thing about this room would be the heat that this room puts out. Everything inside of this room generally puts out an amazing amount of heat. So if you're going to ever be inside of this gaming room with me, definitely wear a, a tank top and some shorts and you'll probably still be sweating even if you do wear that. Now, starting with the outside monitors on the left, the right, and the top monitor are all the Acer Predator Gaming X34 curved 34 inch ultra wide QHD monitors that are 120 hertz at overclocking, but 100 hertz regular, using the display port with 4 milliseconds response time. I do a lot of console gaming, so I don't tend to game on any of these three monitors unless I'm playing Call of Duty or something on the PC. And that is where these monitors shine bright and you can truly feel the quality of the gameplay. The monitor in the middle is the Acer Predator XB272 27 inch gaming monitor with 240Hz. This monitor is my primary gaming monitor whether I'm playing on the PC or playing on the PlayStation 5. This is usually the monitor that I will be using. Both the left and right monitor are on mounting arms, that way I can give them that floating look. The two monitors in the middle are mounted with a tabletop dual mount that goes straight up. Above the middle monitor and under the top monitor is usually where I would keep my Sony A6100 camera, but I'm currently using it to record this video. I like to use this camera primarily when I'm on stream even though I did buy a really expensive lens with it that I will eventually use for photography. To the left and right side of the setup, I have the Elgato Keylight Professional Studio LED panel with 2800 lumens. I have been meaning to get a ring light, but since the lighting in here is fine with the Elgato key lights, I haven't thought so much about getting a ring light. However, I will say that I have underestimated the usefulness of the ring lights. So if you happen to come across one, definitely get it, you won't regret it. On to my peripherals, I do need to upgrade, I am a guy that does like to stay on brand when it comes to my tech. So you'll notice that I have quite a few Omen gear here, but starting off with the Omen Sequencer Wired USB Mechanical Optical Gaming Keyboard. Now I really enjoyed this keyboard to the point where not only did I decide to buy one, but I bought two. In fact, I actually had another Omen keyboard just before getting these ones, and that's the one that you guys saw in the living room at the other gaming setup. Next I have the Omen Photon Wireless Gaming Mouse with QI Wireless Charging, Programmable Buttons, Custom RGB Lighting, and Esport DPI. As fast as a wired mouse's performance, 400 to 16,000 DPI, 50 hours of battery life, customizable RGB lighting, and 0.2 seconds response time. I don't know what half of this means besides the 50 hours of battery life and RGB lighting, which by the way, I will go into now before I go on to the touchpad because I had lots of RGB light strips before, but I had to replace the TV and the light strips were damaged while I was moving. 
More will definitely be on the way soon, not that they're really needed, since I'm sure you guys see the array of lights in the room. Now, to go together with the mouse, I have the Omen Outpost gaming mouse pad with QI wireless charging with customizable RGB lighting. The thing I like most about this is the convenience of putting my mouse right there in that spot and it begins charging. If you have any of the latest iPhones that allow wireless charging, this will also allow you to charge your phone. For the headset, I use the HyperX Cloud Flight Wireless Gaming Headset, and this has a very long lasting battery life up to 30 hours of use, and a detachable noise cancelling microphone. Definitely a headset I would be recommending to anyone who wants to go cordless. Now I think this might be one of the most important pieces of tech in the setup, but let's go on and talk about my microphones. So I'm currently using not one, but two HyperX Quadcast. Now I know that most people are going to say to themselves right now, why does this guy need not one, but two? A question with an easy answer, what if it breaks? No seriously, I do have one for my PlayStation and I do have the other one for my PC. It was much easier to get around the cable management by buying two, getting that nice symmetrical look. And besides, I did kind of fall in love with the touch mute option, plus the lighting looks great with the setup. So as I mentioned earlier, by now you've probably noticed a large display of nano leaves that I have. I have four-ish arrays of nano leaves on the wall. One of them is about 36 panels, which is why I say four-ish panels. Nano leaves are definitely a luxury item, but it really does help to give a warm look and feel and a little bit of personality to your gaming setup. I did get a PlayStation 5, which I did mention earlier also, and I was lucky enough to get it with no pre-order at retail price about a week after the launch, and I can tell you it's literally a huge upgrade from the PlayStation 4 lag-wise. So I normally play Grand Theft Auto 5 if you guys are new around here, because this is the game that my audience likes the most. And the lag times between both consoles is an incredible jump from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5. There are also some other cool features as well, however I will not spoil anything for anyone who does not yet have the console. I will simply recommend that you guys get it and enjoy it whether you guys choose the new Xbox or the new PlayStation. Unfortunately I can't show you guys the cam link that I use to capture myself as I am playing the game because it is tucked away with poor cable management and I say poor knowing that it is a thousand times better than the core management that I used to have before I moved, which by the way, there was zero core cable management. There was zero. However, I always think there's a better way to tuck away the cords out of the view. So in the future of my videos, you guys will hopefully see better improvements in the setup as well as new and improved tech that will help to improve my streams. Now, I'm not going to get into the PC just yet, as I know many of you are waiting for me to do so, but instead we are going to talk about my desk and my chair. So I've been on the real hunt for the perfect gaming desk and I think I may have found it. Right now I'm using the Eureka Ergonomic Z60 gaming desk and the black and red clutch chair. I actually have three of the same desk, I've been constantly debating on myself whether or not I'm going to get a sit stand desk, stay with this desk, or get an L shaped desk. Any of these or just sticking with the one that I have right now will of course be a great convenience to me and help me out with my gaming. I just have a dying need to test new tech and try new setups like my experimental one that I have in the living room. But I truly love this desk, especially the fact that it has a black and red scorpion on it. I am in fact a Scorpio, for those of you who don't know my zodiac sign, I was born October 24th. Red and black is not my favorite color, it's just a good color combination, but in truth, I do wear a lot of black in real life. Let's go ahead and jump to the laptop that I have here to the left that's actually right in front of my other setup that I have here. Now originally this laptop was on the side where the quad monitor setup was and it was actually right in front of that monitor that's on the left side right in front of the curved monitor. This laptop is an Omen X2S 15 inch gaming laptop with secondary touchscreen display. Intel i7 9750H NVIDIA RTX 2070 with max Q 8GB, 16GB of RAM. 512 gigabytes of SSD. Originally, I know some people were looking at the placement of this since it was in front of that curved monitor, and you know, they were just kind of wondering why it was there. I'm not gonna lie, I liked the sleek look and feel of the laptop being there. The desk didn't feel too cluttered, and if for some reason I needed to have it there to monitor the stream quality or for the live chat, it became a super easy job to do so with that laptop there. I really like the sleek look and feel of this laptop, especially when it comes to the small screen at the bottom. If you ever go on a game on this laptop, you can also seemingly take a small portion of your screen and almost like kind of copy and paste it down in the second screen. That way, it will be a little bit easier, so I think it's a really nice feature to have. I have two other laptops on this desk as well as the one in the living room. 
Speaking of desk, I did forget to mention this early on in the video, but I have three of this actual desk. The Eureka Ergonomic Z60 Gaming Desk. There's two inside of this room and there's also one in the living room. So for those of you guys who were wondering if I did have all three of them the same desk, the answer is yes, they are all three the same desk. Now onto the setup that I have to the left of this quad monitor setup. This setup is just basically meant to be simple, it's recently built, it's meant to be clean and minimal. It has my very first PC to the left, which is an Omen. I couldn't tell you the specs on this Omen either, but it's not really good. However, like I said about the other Omen PC, it does definitely get the job done. I have the Omen sequencer on top, and the monitor is the same as the one in the middle in the other setup in the living room. That is the Viotech 32 inch curved monitor. Before we get on to the next part in this video, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to you guys who are watching this video. I greatly do appreciate it. Now, let's go on to the PC really quick. The monster. This is the powerful beast that is actually powering my gameplays and my streams and brings them to life. This is a Skytech Gaming Legacy VR Ready Gaming PC with Ryzen 7 2700X, 500GB Samsung 97 Evo, NVMe SSD, RTX 2080 Ti, 11GB, 360mm liquid cool, 12TB HDD, 98GB of DDR4 RAM. Originally, it was 128GB of DDR4 RAM, but I took the last one out because I wanted to put something inside of the Omen. So that will be back in there later for sure. Now I have quite a few upgrades that I do need to do with this PC, but it is an absolute beauty. I do have another PC that is fully upgraded with the latest tech. The reason why I don't have it out is because the only thing that I need is one of these missing, one of these latest graphics cards. I gotta have that before I show, showcase it to you guys. After I get that, I will definitely show you guys my custom built from scratch PC that is very powerful but has costed me a fortune. The last tech that I will say for this is the router. Myself, I, I would say that the router is one of the most important things in my setup as well. Originally when I started streaming, I did know that the quality of my streams was going to be one of the biggest things that was going to be an issue for me. And I was concerned so I did buy a Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II to make sure that my streaming qualities are the best that I can offer. But that doesn't necessarily stop the interruptions due to terrible internet or worse, people who DDoS, which is distributed denial of service. Which is also where the other laptops come in handy. With the main PC being connected to this router, which is, by the way, a ASUS gaming router tri-band Wi-Fi up to 5,334 megabytes for VR and 4K streaming, 1.8 gigahertz quad-core processor, gaming port, whole home mesh system, and AI protection network with 8x gigabit LAN ports. I felt like I was dodging, <laughs> kind of telling you guys what kind of router that I had, but let's be honest, the whole thing's a mouthful. It's an ASUS router, let's just leave it at that. The internet speed is very fast and reliable with no interruptions. There also is a customizable VPN options, that way you can ensure that your internet stays on all the time. After giving it some thought, originally I was not going to include this part of the video inside of the gaming setup tutorial. However, I did think that some people would like to see how the setup actually looks when all the lights are off, just so you guys can get a real feel for those LEDs. The LEDs also do change colors, I just like to have them looking the way they do right there because it matches the setup so beautifully. So this short segment is just going to be showing you guys what the setup looks like in the dark as well as the PC and then we'll get on towards the ending. Also I did have to edit this one in late as well but just in case you guys didn't know it's actually full blown daytime inside of this video. The only reason why you guys can't see any light from outside is actually from the curtains that you guys have seen around the room. I have the same curtains actually all over the house. Don't ask me why, I do like it dark though. That's way, <laughs> That way I can show off the LEDs, but yes, it was daylight outside, bright and sunny. It's just that the soundproof insulated curtains do not let any light through them. But yes, if you guys are looking for those curtains as well, you will also be able to find them on Amazon. So in short, this does mean that when you walk into my house, it will be completely pitch black except for the light that will be coming in through the doorway when the door is actually opened. I did also forget to mention one last thing, the TV in the back. That's actually a 55 inch Roku. I did have to edit this in last because, because why not? I see that the TV has been there the entire time and I failed to say anything about it. So yes, it's a 55 inch Roku TV. I really hope that you guys did enjoy my setup tour. There will definitely be more tours and vlogs like this in the future. 
I hope you guys will, I hope this video will actually fuel some of you guys who are looking to build your own setups and give you guys some fresh ideas of what you want your setup to look like. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, do not forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. And don't forget to smash that like button. My name is V Animated, or just call me V. Call me either or, doesn't matter. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and thank you guys once again, and have a great day.